Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode was submitted by Trish and Tom. Today, day 135 of the 365 day trivia road trip, Trish and Tom have submitted several quizzes this year. This one is going to be as good or better than all the ones I've done before this. I can personally guarantee it. Make sure in the comment section you tell Trish and Tom thank you for submitting such a good quiz. Here it is, question number one. Boris Badenov's slinky sidekick hails from the country of Potsylvania. Very pale and usually clad in a skin-tight purple dress, when she spots Rocky and Bullwinkle, she is wont to exclaim, Is moose and squirrel! Who is this nefarious femme fatale? Her name is Natasha. Question number two. One of the most famous cats in history, Little Tartar Sauce, gained internet fame through countless memes featuring her perpetually sour expression. This lovable cat's looks were due to an underbite and dwarfism. What was this frowning feline affectionately known as on the internet? Little Tartar Sauce was known as Grumpy Cat. Question number three. These little lizards are native to the southeastern U.S. Males can reach eight inches in length and females about six. Males are often seen doing push-ups and displaying their reddish throat fans, either to intimidate rivals or to attract a mate. What are these tree-dwelling reptiles called? The answer is anole, or specifically the green anole. Question number four. This board game is won when a player gets all their game pieces to home. Landing on a slide of one's own color enables the player to glide to the end of the slide, knocking off any opposing players on the slide, after which you insincerely apologize with what one word? That is also the game's title. The answer is sorry. Question number five, nicknamed the Bambino. This power hitter played for the New York Yankees from 1920 through 1935, leading the team to seven American League pennants and four World Series victories. Who was this Sultan of Swat? The great Bambino and the Sultan of Swat was Babe Ruth. Question number six. Guitar gods Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, and Jimmy Page all began their careers in this mid-1960s English rock band. Known for Heart Full of Soul, Train Kept a Rollin', and Over Under Sideways Down, what was the name of this band that was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992? The answer is the Yardbirds. Question number seven. Many Mexican words such as tecolote or al, macat or rope, and cacahuate or peanut come from the pre-Hispanic era. The words are derived from Nahuatl, a language still spoken by almost two million people in central Mexico that are the living descendants of what powerful Mesoamerican empire? I know I butchered all the pronunciations of those words. I am so sorry, but the answer is Aztecs. Question number eight. Dwayne Johnson's first appearance as this character was a mercifully brief CGI scene as a human-headed arachnid in The Mummy Returns. Later, he got his own live-action movie as legendary hero Matthias, who defeats an evil tyrant and takes over his kingdom Winning him the title of what? A 
a mercifully brief CGI scene made me laugh out loud? The answer is the Scorpion King. Question number nine. Cat connoisseurs know that the feline fur can come in a variety of solid hues as well as stripes, spots, and patches. Although it is not a usual hue in the big cats, for Felis catus, the most common color is one considered good luck in Russia, Japan, and Britain, but not in the U.S. What color is it? In the Felis catus, or the common cat, black is the most common color. Question number 10. This cave system in New Mexico sees hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. Many unique features like the totem pole, the chandelier, and the massive Rock of Ages stalagmite can be viewed from the walking trail inside of what geological wonder? The answer is Carlsbad Caverns. Question number 11. Prior to 1981, fans could listen to their music idols on the radio or on records, but had to be content with fan magazines to see what they looked like. MTV changed all that. What ironically appropriate song about a metaphorical homicide was the first music video ever aired on MTV? That song was called Video Killed the Radio Star. Question number 12. This element, atomic symbol FE, had its own age and is the most common element on Earth. Its symbol comes from the Latin ferrum. The term ferric oxide or rust is derived from this word. Preceding man, horse, and maiden, the English name for element number 26 is what? The word we're looking for is iron. Question number 13. The ghost pepper is 170 times hotter than Tabasco sauce and once held the heat record. But in 2017, the newest hottest pepper was declared to be a gnarled bumpy fruit. What is the name of this little scorcher that suggests that this food might be your last? This hot little bugger is called the Carolina Reaper. Question 14. The most famous song from Memphis Minnie was about the 1927 failure of a structure meant to hold back the Mississippi River, resulting in disastrous flooding. Over 40 years later, Led Zeppelin recorded their version of Minnie's song and it became a huge hit. What is this song? The answer is when the levee breaks. Question 15. This Sanrio character is a friend of Hello Kitty and, like her, has a large head, no visible mouth, and a feline name. He also has a huge round eyes and a blue collar. One of Sanrio's first and best loved characters, he has black fur and a candy colored nose that gives him his name, which is what? His name is Choco Cat. Question number 16. Teenage sisters Ginger and Bridget are out walking one cold night in Ontario when Ginger is attacked by an unknown creature. Ginger soon begins to change in unimaginable ways as Bridget desperately looks for a cure. The title of this 2000 horror film, a play on a popular spicy cookie, is what? gonna have to add this to movies to watch it's called ginger snaps <laughs> I like it already question 17 NSAIDs are mostly over-the-counter medications like aspirin and ibuprofen widely used to relieve pain 
lower fever, reduce inflammation, and prevent blood clots. Overuse, however, can lead to gastrointestinal distress and even bleeding. What does the acronym NSAID stand for? The answer is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Question number 18. Kizka brothers Josh, Jake, and Sam grew up listening to Led Zeppelin records. In 2012, they formed a band with schoolmate Danny Wagner. They've won Best Rock Album from the Fires, Rock Song of the Year for Safari Song, and Best New Artist. What is this all-male band with the female name? The answer is Greta Van Fleet. Question 19. Called the father of modern surgery, this British physician pioneered aseptic surgery and preventative medicine. He began sterilizing his instruments, his hands, and the patient's wounds with carbolic acid, and post-op infections dropped dramatically. A modern antiseptic mouthwash is named for what man? The mouthwash is Listerine. His name was Joseph Lister. And question 20. He ruled Russia from 1585 until his death in 1605. After his reign, Russia descended into the time of troubles with peasant uprisings, famine, and violent conflicts with many claims to the throne. Rocky and Bullwinkle's arch enemy's name bears a humorous resemblance to his, which is what? We're looking for the actual Russian guy, not the Rocky and Bullwinkle bad guy. His name was Boris Gudinov. The Rocky and Bullwinkle guy was Boris Badenov. The answer is Boris Gudinov. Anyways, thank you very much for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Check back tomorrow for episode number 136 or day number 136 and episode number 1155. Thank you very much again to Trish and Tom who've submitted another excellent quiz. I had a good time playing this. There were a lot of questions in there that we have not had yet. So thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Often invoked for comfort in times of fear or grief, this psalm assures the faithful you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. What is the number of this psalm? Closest player to it wins. This psalm from the Bible is Psalm 91. That's the answer for today. Thank you, Trish and Tom, and I will see everybody tomorrow.